we'll try not to make this thing squeak very much here. Um, welcome to the very last set of sessions for Black Hat. Uh, hopefully everybody has had the opportunity to consume some kind of dairy product or facsimile thereof and uh, can survive on Sugar Rush for the next at least 15, 20 minutes, which is what we're going to be giving you. Um, my name is Greg Miles. Um, I am president of Security Horizon. Uh, we're out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, and also a co-founder of the Global Security Syndicate, which you're about to hear just a little bit about. Uh, one thing to keep in mind as we do this presentation, this is in a, a work in progress. Okay, there is very little detail behind yet what you see up here. And part of what we're trying to get from the community is one, an introduction to kind of where we're going, and two, some feedback as to the kinds of things you would like to see in an organization like the Global Security Syndicate as we describe it as we go. And my name is Travis Shack, and I'm the president of Vitalisec. We're a company out of Colorado. Uh, myself, with Greg and uh, Russ Rogers, uh, we came up with the idea of Global Security Syndicate. This is an idea that uh, Russ and I actually had been talking about for at least three years. Um, about three years ago when I first met Russ, we were talking about all different things and we finally said, let's just do it. Uh, the time is right. Uh, there's a lot of things happening in the security industry which I think would support this idea. So this is uh, why we're here today is to introduce this concept. Okay, and what we're going to cover today, we're going to talk about the GSS mission, um, who the founders are, which you just met two of them, uh, the board of directors, our concept behind that board of directors, the member companies, um, other topic areas, <laughs> or the proposed topic areas we're going to be dealing with, and projects. One key thing to keep in mind, we're not selling a product. We're not trying to sell you anything. We want you to be involved in the community. So that's what we're trying to do here. Basically, the, the mission of the Global Security Syndicate, uh, one, we're a non-for-profit organization uh, out of Colorado, and it's going to be an organization of security professionals from all over the world. Um, that's our initial goals. We're looking at this to be an international effort, not just a national, but a global effort. That's why it's called Global Security Syndicate. Uh, we're not only going to have individual security professionals involved, but we also want companies involved. Uh, from various different categories, which we'll cover a little bit later. And basically, the whole mission is we want to work on projects and do things that will, one, better the industry overall as, uh, from a security perspective and give back to the security community. And to do that, there's, we have three bullet points. One, we want to, uh, some of the efforts that we are going to undertake uh, is going to be a lot of knowledge sharing through the collaborative efforts of everyone involved within GSS. The next thing is we also want to increase the global security awareness and education, uh, which is a, because security is still a maturing industry, with the, uh, the collaborative effort of all these experts and different companies, we're hoping to increase the, the awareness of the security industry. And also help develop security strategies and standards to enhance uh, the security life cycle of programs and, and uh, products. Okay, the, the founders, you've already met two. Russ Rogers is another one. Unfortunately, he could not be here today. Um, we're basically people that know each other at this point. We're the ones that are working on the concept, so that's how we got involved. <clears throat> The GSS Board of Directors, our, our intent is to have a 13-member Board of Directors. Uh, this will be a group of security professionals, individuals recognized in the community, brought by their security expertise and their visibility. Um, again, this is a work in progress. What we're looking at initially is an initial one-year term. Um, somebody sits on the board, and then we decide how the board's going to decide how it's going to be handled for the future, but we have to start somewhere. So we're starting with a one-year term. Invitations will be based on what the board votes, votes on for that. Uh, the decisions have not yet been made. There are a few people that invitations will be going out to um, already, but we do not have a full 13-member complement, more th nor 13-member invitations yet. Um, we'd like to get an initial set in and then extend the remaining invitations based on a larger board other than just the three original founders. 
Okay, so there's your board of directors right now. Um, and that is going to grow over the next few months as we identify the additional participants. Okay, then there's this concept of company members. Okay, company members do not sit on the board. They don't vote uh, anything of that nature. What the company members do are their representations of the security community in specific fields. Um, how many of you have ever gone out to a client and, s and the client asked you, I need you know, was identification and authentication, somebody that's really good at that. Well, our intent is to be able to provide company members through some kind of verification process. And again, this is a work in progress, but we plan there to be a definition as to what they have to do in order to be listed under the GSS as a provider in a particular service area. And again, the board will work on those definitions as a group as to what that needs to be, but the plan is to have some kind of peer review and some kind of validation with existing company, cu cu yeah, customers, um, almost like you would um, somebody that you're hiring uh, to your company, the same kind of thing to bring on the board. You do validation of what they say they do and do they really do it and do they w are their customers happy? And so we're looking at it from that concept as well. So that will be that that uh, group. We also, um, you know, every security organization has a strict security code of ethics. Um, yes, we will uh, identify that as one of the things that uh, the GSS will adhere to as well. So we talked about a little bit about security services, individuals, and, and products. So what we did is we went through and we, we created some topic areas of focus on the type of industries are in the security industry, the categories of, of, of products and services that we would like representation from. Again, as Greg reiterated, this is a work in progress. So this is just the initial identification of these areas. As we get more and more people involved, this is going to either expand, it's going to get edited, uh, some things might be removed. Some of the areas that we were looking at is uh, application security. Uh, and you're going to see down the road as we're talking and we're walking through what some of the projects, our initial projects, are going to be about. You're going to see how all this is going to tie in and why it's going to work this way. So some of the areas were application security, database security, uh, identification, authentication, uh, from the managed services side, security research, uh, web security. One of the things I wanted to bring in here, especially there's been a lot of uh, uh, a lot of development in this area of web security, and there's already organizations out there like OWASP and the Open Web Consortium. We're not trying to replicate what they're already doing. Uh, if they're do doing something, we want to try to tie in what they're doing into what our efforts and our mission. Uh, why reinvent the wheel when they're already doing it themselves? Uh, communication security, disaster recover, c recovery, and then the legal side. Uh, this is, as everyone's aware of, there's a lot more legal issues that are happening and we want to get more, uh, some legal representation and give more guidance on the legal side uh, for security companies and individuals out there. Uh, there's a network security side, security documentation, and educational and training. You're going to see that we're going to be focusing a lot as our initial projects move forward here. And then we have assessment and evaluation. So as you see, there's, that's a broad uh, category of different types of things. I know there's things missing. So as, like I said, if you guys want to get involved or you think there's things that should be there, please contact us. OK, the other side of this is the project side. And the projects are really where the meat of the organization is going to be. Um, the whole idea is to have the opportunity as a group um, as a security community to work on projects, however they're identified. Um, what, one of the things that we're definitely looking at is a relationship with universities and colleges as to getting some definition as to kind of things they want to look at uh, from a security perspective. And the inverse of that is to help to build a security education framework related to you know, development of security professionals in the industry. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of different schools out there that saw an opportunity to make money by offering some kind of security certificate, some kind of security degree. A few of them may do it well. Um, several of them I know don't, 
They don't identify even the basics that you need to have as security. It's all built around individuals' capabilities within their departments or what they thought they knew or something of that nature. Um, we already have, uh, well, I, one thing I didn't mention, I, I am an instructor with the University of Advancing Technology, and they have already volunteered to be a participant in this. Um, we're looking for other college and university participants as well in a project to help identify this type of curriculum related to security education and uh, trying to build at least recommendations for programs to help the build, you know, from the foundation of security up to uh, even to, into the master's level programs for um, security education. Uh, that's not the only projects we plan to do. There are, there are more that can be done and what we again need is from either customers or from members of the security community, what kind of things would you like to see an organization like the Global S Security Syndicate to focus on from a project standpoint? We can partner with universities and colleges. We can partner with companies. We can partner with other organizations that are doing security research and development. And just like Travis said, there's no reason you have to reinvent the wheel. Why not work together and make this happen? And hopefully we can help facilitate some of that as we press through. Okay, so why did we do this presentation? Well, the whole idea was to get some introduction to the Global Sec Security Syndicate out into the security community. So, you know, we got 15 people in here. Well, that's 15 more people that know, now know about the Global Security Syndicate than before. Um, our information is also available uh, through the Black Hat uh, information pieces. And what we're hoping to get, again, is feedback. We need you to be involved. We want you to you know, provide information that you'd like to see. Help us to develop this into something useful as we press through. Um, I think I said all that, didn't I? <laughs> so, well, here's our contact information. And, you know, this was a, uh, a 12 and a half minute presentation. Um, we will post these slides up on the GS Syndicate uh, website. Um, as well as they're available, will be available through the Black Hat, and we'll also make sure Security Horizon and Vitalisec post them as well. Okay, I just wanted to, to add in too. I mean, I've been talking with uh, various people for the last day or two, and even previous before that, when we we're talking about GSS and some of the things that we even see, and in, in some of the discussions, if you guys have been following, like the penetration test mailing list where there's been some conversation going on about the skill sets of security professionals. And, um, and as Greg had mentioned, there's a lot of college curriculums. And they aren't really, they're not consistent. They're, one might pick the CISSP domain uh, to build their curriculum on, and others might follow someone else's model. And they're all over the board. And, and so that's one, one of the reasons why we wanted to get uh, start with the educational side was, one, what from the security industry and from the business world do you want to see a security, a well-rounded security professional? What kind of background skill set should they have? And uh, because right now we want to make that consistent. We want to make put out better, help guide people so they, they have the skill sets for not just for themselves but for the companies that are out there. And also the, there's the high school bit there too, where we want to start touching some of these. There's some really brilliant high school kids and. Uh, you're seeing a lot of it here today. Uh, we just saw a presentation from a kid that just graduated high school doing some phenomenal work. Uh, and there's a lot of people like that. And we want to be able to touch them and put them on the right road and want to make sure that they understand the legal is issues, the ethical issues, and help guide them so when they go through the college route too, that when they finally come out and start working as a professional, they're very well-rounded. So that's my my two cents I wanted to add in there. So anyone have any questions or comments or, because again, we want, this, we're encouraging participation here. Expect that we'll have some forums set up for discussion. Um, 
you know, understanding as the volume grows, we're going to have to put the infrastructure in place to support that that volume. Um, you know, and we hope that that becomes a problem. To be honest with you, we'd like to see the volume in there. So at the moment, we don't have a form in place. Um, but I know Travis has a background with setting those kinds of things up. And we might be able to help with that. Excellent. Okay, great. Yes, um, again, once we identify all the key areas from everyone's, in, once we get the board in place and all the members, and then we start talking about the projects that we're going to work on, the, the, the educational framework and what needs to be in there, then we identify, is there people already doing this and can we collaborate with their efforts and not try to reinvent that, that piece? Definitely. Absolutely. And if any of you have contacts in the, any of those organizations, please um, you know, email us or Sure. Like, like we said, this is an initial effort, and we understand there's organizations out there already doing things. And uh, as an overall whole, if, if the, again, to reiterate, if there's organizations already doing something, why reinvent it? Why not do a collaborative effort with organizations like ESACOM or OWASP or SECMET doing all the security metrics, anything like that? Our biggest goal right now uh, with one, the main project on the educational framework is to help provide guidance around building a thorough and overall uh, well-rounded curriculum. Uh, right now, again, everyone's all over the board creating curriculums and not being consistent. So you might get a student that goes to College A who goes to their course and is not going to be consistent with College B. And we want to help create that guidance. And there's organizations like the NSA who's already doing some stuff on the, on the educational side. and. Again, we've got ideas, uh, and as we get more people on our, on our board, more ideas are going to happen, and we're going to make that work. Part of the challenge with that is some of the training standards are kind of old, like 1979 is when uh, one of the documents was written. It's in Mississippi, and I forget the exact number, it's like 31, 30. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, part of it, too, is to look at how can we make sure that you address the future as well as the, the past and the present with a security perspective. And the other side we want to look at from a training education awareness standpoint, uh, especially in the doesn't cover everything. Um, that doesn't cover all the basics so we can put them and get that together. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Some of the, the government standards that are out there, uh, it's got to be part of the, the structure that goes into it. Um, there's no reason with cooperation you can't leverage what uh, George Mason, George Washington, and you know, the ones that have built security programs that are at least recognized. Um, and maybe working together we can help them to even improve their programs.
Um, one thing I would ask if, uh, when you have a, a few moments, if you could email us sure. that concept. That way we get it captured and we can ask some questions back and forth. And, and Even if it's just a matter of creating a document so that here's where you can start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we are out of time. Um, I guess the first one is the next presenter here.